Right. So this is a hard meme, but I'm not about to let the rain stop me from making a video today. Uh, we're, I'm lucky to make a video at home with my uh, German Shepherd situation. Once the house is mine, I'll have time to do the shit at home more. But today's video, no song, not, uh, not really a meme. It's going to go on the playlist, though. Ultra 85, the novel. I still got to listen to it a bunch. Logic got me listening to a book. Like, there was a supermarket book that tied in with the fucking no a novel, or album, Supermarket, which is like some shit for his wife. I don't care, no offense, Logic. It's sweet though, whatever. And then there was uh, his memoir with no pressure. I mean, I didn't, I, I might, I have one audible credit, I might get it. I mean, you know, I've been listening to him for so long, I don't really need this memoir. But the novel Ultra 85 ties so much together between the albums, like, and there's still so much to catch. Like, I got the general story, but I kind of missed how fucking Thomas lived. You know, he saved Ty's life with his last adrenaline shot, and, you know, I was at work fucking... I started listening to the, I listened to the first two hours on Saturday. I was scrubbing this stove out. I got a stove on the house, all that. You know, got it for free. Fucking clean it, right? Anyway... You know, so I was like, fuck, you know, weekend happened, I didn't have time to listen, so I listened to the rest yesterday. And just, mind-blowing. It's, it's just aw it's just awesome, dude. The fucking, the whole thing with Thomas and his dad, I can tell that that's like a metaphor for a logical relationship with his dad. I really hope this person ain't coming to this truck so I can just make my video. <laughs> Please don't come to this truck. I work here, I'm just on my break. Alright, good, he yeah, is not coming to this truck, I don't think. That would fucking suck. Not everyone takes their break to fuck the ten. No, it's a driver anyway. None of my business. Anyway, speaking of driving, the Aquarius 3. Yeah, uh, Thalia's fucking evil. Thalia, Thalia. So, but, uh, yeah, th so now it makes sense why Thalia talks on this album. Because she, she, she she's supposed to be this information feeder in the fucking future. You know, when, when Thomas and Kyra listen to Under Pressure and shit. It's just, the way it ties, it's still, dude. Like I said, I gotta listen to it again. It blew my mind when they went through the City of Stars. I was like, oh yeah, that's a song. And now I know why he called it the City of Stars. It's like Incredible True Story is just one tiny fucking piece of a chapter. And then Ultra 85, the, the album is before the fucking novel starts. And then there's just all the pop culture references, you know. Which, Logic, Logic finds a way to fucking make shit original, like... Like fucking all, all the robots turn just uh, all the evil robots just suddenly start quoting movies and don't do shit <laughs> it, It's a lot. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 though. It's better than the album. Yes I'm saying that because I like incredible true story a little bit better music wise But the you know skits are top-notch on ultra 85. I, I give it the album a 9 out of 10, but the novel is a 10 dude I'm sure the rain is annoying. I just wanted to get a video out to say how anyone watching, any one of my friends, I'm not gonna say no names, but I know that I send this to homies. I know I'm a fucking logic nerd, but I don't think you realize what a genius this boy is, the way he crafted this shit for fucking 20 years. You know? Not getting distracted by drugs or no dumb shit, just straight effort for fucking 20 years straight. And then he topped it off with this book, and it's just, you know, he's not done. He might be off his label and be a dad now, but he's not done rapping, dude. This is logic we're talking about. So. Yeah, dude. Amazing. And that's why I'm always going back and forth between Lil Wayne, Eminem, and fucking Logic. And of course, Kendrick is the top dog right now. I'm not going to knock that meme, but. You know, Eminem fucking. Like, Death of Some Shady came out of nowhere, but it fucking ties into everything perfectly. Like, it makes. Ever since Diddy happened and everything, he got me thinking about relapse a lot more and just the way he explained shit, all the serial killer bars, who knows what Eminem was seeing when he was coming up. It's a lot, dude. Interesting. Interesting discography from Logic. Yeah. I'm not knocking, by the way, I mentioned drugs, I'm not knocking Eminem, I was just, never by the way or nothing. Hell, I smoke weed. Hell, Logic smokes weed. But that's not the point. The point is that he's not the best rapper alive, that's Lil Wayne, he's not the rap god, but he calls himself the greatest, and you know what, he can have that title.
Well, listen to Ultra 85.